Howdy folks, it's me again, your friendly neighborhood art guy, Adam Gross, here at Space 1028, on a gray day, continuing to enjoy the beauty of all things Raymond Pennybone. God bless Raymond Pennybone. Um, and today, I don't know, I thought I'd keep it as short as I can possibly keep it, and uh, finish up on our conversation about proofs and additions. So the way an addition usually works is, here I am, is the artist comes in, works with a printer. Uh, the printer then is basically left alone to put together a bunch of test prints. From the test prints will be created a series of trial proofs. If the artist approves of and accepts those trial proofs, and while I'm talking here, we can uh, talk about dogs. Um, if he approves of and accepts those trial proofs, then uh, you have signed trial proofs. What are you doing? That's Matilda. Um, which are, whoops, sorry. Which are some of these signed trial proofs, right? And, this is a color trial proof. And then they go into production of the edition. Actually, first one of those are accepted and signed off on as the BAT. We talked about that, Mona Terre. Um, once the edition is produced, a selection of prints are taken from the edition and made into artist proofs. I'll talk about the business relationship on another video. But the, uh, from the edition, a few prints will be selected and put aside as artist proofs, and a few will be selected and put aside as publisher's proofs or printer's proofs. Um, there could also be publisher's proofs and printer's proofs. Um, those numbers usually are tried, I think, as a rule, people try to keep them consistent. So if there's three artist proofs, there'll be also three publisher's proofs or three printer's proofs. Um, that delineation or demarcation is indicated via the words or the letters AP. Sometimes it's A dash P, sometimes it's A dot P. Let's see. In this case you have APB. By the way, this is Raymond with any Boucher. Which, by the way, check out this text. That is totally Raymond's text. And I have never seen Raymond do text like that. Um, but clearly he's responding to the style and the technique that Eddie is putting forth here. This is uh, Raymond with Francesca Gabbiani, who has a studio here in Los Angeles and is a very talented artist in her own right. I think, I think rumor has it that she actually worked with Raymond for a hot minute, but you can't hold me to that. So in this case, this is APD, assuming then that there's an AP and artist proof A, B, and C. Um, the way that these are numbered um, or lettered makes it sort of difficult to know if there's an artist proof E or F. But um, back in the 80s, or I think early 90s, or maybe 90, when Raymond did this print, oh, that's really high up, he initialed it or numbered it two of two, P over P. So that would be publisher's proof, two over two. So now we know that there are two publisher's proofs, and this is the second of those two publisher's proofs. Ooh, you know what I can do? Oh, well, hold on, I can show you the dogs. Look at the dogs. Look at that, Ren. Look at that sweet little guy. I love him so much. Um, what I can do is uh, one of our next talks, pull out of the drawer and show off the set of publisher's proof prints for this folio of 
12 prints by Raymond Pettibone from 1991. I think it's 90 or 91. Um, these are incredible. And I have, I have some individual prints, like that one, which came within Bloodshot. I think the crawling as we do on our knees before a line of verse that we have as well as individual prints. But um, I also have that as a full suite, which is something, let's just say, that's super sweet. A full suite is super sweet. So that's all I got for today. Uh, today we learned about artist proofs and publisher's proofs and where they fit into the edition. So just as a quick recap, we've got, what do we have? We've got trial proofs, which are unique. Each one is unique. We have then one of those is selected and made a BAT, Bon Atterre, and then they go into production. The BAT is used as the match print against which all of the prints will be judged. So they, they do the print run. They usually overprint because there's inevitably some loss, usually like 20, 25%. Um, and then from that selection of prints, or from that edition, that run of editions, which are all by definition equal, you are selected artist proofs and publisher's proofs, and then also the rest, or printer's proofs, and then the rest of the prints for the edition. And uh, this is not hard and fast, because technically all those prints are, are equal, but oftentimes some of the best prints are selected as artist prints and printer's proof, artist proofs and printer's proofs, because why not? So on that note, uh, let's see, we will close with our regular the end, which happens to be a color trial proof. I don't know if we talked about color trial proofs, but uh, if you want to know about color trial proofs, send me an email or put a comment and we can talk more about that. Okay, bye guys.